Okay, there is this young man in Texas um, that is missing. Okay, he got in a car crash last week, and he has not been seen since. Um, today is the 17th. Yeah, so today marks exactly a week that he's been missing. His name is Michael um, Archie. I guess they call him Justin. Um, says, Fort Worth. Friends and family members of a young Keller man missing since last week after a traffic accident have organized a search for him Thursday afternoon. Michael Justin Archie, 27, the father of a young daughter, was last seen on the afternoon of August 10th as he crawled out of his truck after a one-vehicle wreck in the 2200 block of Evans Avenue near John Peter Smith Hospital. Archie, also known as Jay or... I don't know if that's J-U or Jew, okay, um, was not arrested, nor was he taken to a hospital. It's unclear where he went afterward. The group was still searching at 9 p.m. Thursday in the neighborhood of the crash. No one has heard or seen from him, his sister Ashley Archie of Ralston said Thursday in a telephone interview. He doesn't disappear for days or anything like that. Concern has intensified because Archie did not attend his five-year-old daughter's birthday on Wednesday and his cell phone has been turned off. At 2 p.m. on August 10th, shortly before his accident, Archie talked to a friend and made plans with her for that night. She said he sounded normal, Ashley Archie said Thursday. Archie, who works with his father at Archie's barn backyard retreat in Halton City, has completed his work for the day and took to the road. He left his brother that afternoon, so we believe he was alone in his truck, Alicia Fox said in a Thursday telephone interview. Fox's sister is the mother of Archie's daughter. We believe he lost control of his truck, hit something, and then crashed into a building. Archie apparently abandoned his truck at the crash site. Archie's family did not know he had been in an accident until Monday, and they later found his truck. They later found the truck had been impounded in Fort Worth. We found that someone had ripped out the battery of his truck. He didn't show up for work on Monday, and then he never tried to call his daughter. That's not like him to do that. A missing person report has been filed with, Ke with Keller police because Archie lives in Keller with his father. Anyone with the information should call family members, and here's the number right here, 817-730-8229, or Keller Police at 817-743-4500. Okay, now, you know, there's really like one of two things that could have happened now, Okay. If the last time he was seen, I wonder who saw him crawling out of his truck after the accident. You know, they didn't say that. They just said that the last time he was seen, he was crawling out of the truck. And then, like, he just abandoned the truck. Um, you know, either there was somebody with him. You know, there's someone that was either with him or someone that picked him up. You know, and they have him or they've done something with him. Or it's possible that he could have possibly, you know, he he could have a concussion. He could have, he could have lost his memory. Um, and that does happen in some cases, you know, you hit your head hard enough. I mean, you, you lose your memory. I know that I suffered from a concussion from an accident that I had two years ago. And my short-term memory loss is gone. Um, I do not retain memories very well at all. Um, you know, mainly only things that, that I talk about every day, but after a while, like if I don't, if I don't talk about the topic or whatever it is that I want to remember every day, I will forget. I will forget. If it's not an everyday thing for me, I will forget completely about it. Um, you know, but. I mean, sometimes people hit their head hard enough and they get amnesia. You know, thank God I don't have, um, you know, like full-blown amnesia, but I do have, 
like a different form to where my short term memory is gone. I have damage to my frontal lobe. So, you know, I mean, that is possible. Um, you know, and I mean, I just hope that this young man is found, you know, and I hope that he's found alive. But I mean, at this point, you know, his family needs some type of closure. But I mean, of course, we all, you know, we always hope for, you know, someone to be found alive. Um, that's always the best case scenario. You know, he does have a child and, you know, the mother and everything. I mean, they're all, you know, worried about him. Um, you know, but something strange, you know, something strange is going on. I mean, for him to not you know, contact his daughter or go to her birthday party or contact anyone for a whole week after a car accident, not even the insurance company or police or nothing, you know, I mean, that's, you know, that's, you know, scary, I mean, because nobody knows what happened to him, I mean, he just kind of vanished, you know, so hopefully, you know, in a sense, hopefully, you know, it would be a good thing if, you know, if he did just have some memory loss or something like that. Hopefully he's found and, you know, maybe he can be brought back and, uh, you know, have his memory restored or something. I mean, I, I don't know, but I would just, you know, anything is better than him being found dead or harmed in any type of way by another person. So I just wanted to show this to y'all. Please, y'all keep a lookout for this man right here and get a good look at his face. Uh, you know, he could be anywhere at this point. He is missing from Texas. Um, but, you know, if you live in the area of Fort Worth, well, no, he lives and he's from Keller. He crashed in Fort Worth. If you're in any of those areas, please, you know, be on an extra lookout for this young man right here because he is missing and he could possibly be endangered, you know. If he's with someone or if he has the memory loss, I mean, that's endangerment right there. So, if y'all see anyone that even looks like him, I mean, call the police. You don't know. It could be him. Leave your comments and feedback below. If y'all would like to send me anything at all, you can do so on my email. Or you can add me on Facebook and send whatever you'd like through Messenger. The links are down below underneath the video. If y'all have not subscribed to my other channel yet, please go do so now. Click on the link down below. Subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Till the next time I talk to y'all, have a wonderful day and I love y'all.